So following from the previous tutorial, we have found um, a way to optimize the boundary box um, and get a good angle. So we found that there were two angles. There's one here at minus 55, and then there's one here at 34. Um, so we need to consider something. Say that the gripper is oriented so that the fingers are across the y-axis. So that would be this green axis here. So at the moment it would pick this side and this side here. And that's ideal because that would mean that the, there's less space um, for the gripper to extend. Um, and we're sure that we can grip it. Now the problem is that it's also found this angle here at minus 55 or 54 or whatever it is. And that would mean that if we have a look at the green axis here, that would mean one finger would be here and one finger would be here. And say that the gripper can't handle this um, this length, it still wouldn't even be ideal because it, it's not really the most stable way to pick up um, this object if you think about it. So what we want to do is offset this angle here by 90 degrees. So if it's detected at this angle, um, it will reset back to this one here. So if we go to zero, um, we can see this box will have an X and a Y. So you can see here the X is getting smaller than the Y if it's negative. So that would be here the X. And at the correct location here, the X will be bigger than the Y. So we want to basically check those dimensions. So I'll set this back to zero. Um, and let's go to the bounding box here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deconstruct this, deconstruct box. And we're gonna, we've seen this in the previous tutorial, we're gonna get a number and then I'll drag an alt to duplicate it and we'll get the X and Y dimensions for this. So we can see here at the moment, the X is 48, the Y is 39. Okay, so what we want to do is rotate this pick plane on the condition that X is smaller than Y. So, um, and let's check if that's right. This is going to be X. And if it's going negative, yep, it's going to be smaller than Y. So that's what we want to do. So we're going to get a smaller than component. Here it is. I'm going to plug those two numbers in the X and the Y in here. And this is going to return true, as we can see. Um, it will return true whilst the X is smaller than the Y. So let's have a look here. Um, this is still true, it's true, it's true. So we're looking at this angle. This uh, this X has to be bigger than this Y for it to become false. So boom, now it's false. And as we can see, that's the optimal location. So we can use this to basically say that when this is true, and true, true and false uh, can also be mathematically represented as zero and one, so as a Boolean. Um, so basically what we can do is just say multiply by 90 degrees and we can get this smaller than and this is going to be what it's basically going to output is um, it's going to multiply this 90 degrees by zero or by one depending on x being bigger or smaller than y. So we can see here when it's when the x is smaller it's going to it's going to add 90 and when it's not, it's gonna add a zero. So that's perfect for what we want. So basically all we have to do now is, um, can delete this. Um, I'll just um, put, uh, rename this like that. And so now we've got the compare. X, Y. So we're comparing X and Y. And basically what we want to do now is I'll hide this and I'll hide this. We're going to rotate this by, oh, um, don't forget to set this to radians. We could have also done multiply by pi over two um, if you're fussy about that, um, but it's, it's the same thing anyway. So this is the result. Um, we can, we can say, just rotate. Um, and then we're going to just place the, um, what, what are we going to want to rotate? We're going to want to rotate the plane, this final plane, and output it to um, 
the final one for the robot like this. So right now, um, I'll hide this and let's just preview the final plane. So if we've got 34, that's perfect. Um, we can see the Y axis is here, so it will be gripping across the object like this. Now, if we go to a smaller um, dimension here, to a smaller angle, um, you'll see that again, it rotates the plane. So it's, um, so the Y axis is again aligned correctly. So you can see here, it will flip here at this point. So basically the Y angle will always be facing, um, facing this side, which is the way that we want our gripper to be oriented to pick the, to pick the bugs. So this will be the, um, um, I don't know, you can call it angle offset. And then here we'll have our final plane. And here we've got our, we've got a machine learning. So that's basically how we can do it. Um, now, just to give uh, one final example, if we set this back to minus 90, um, we can go back to the solver and hit start. So, oh, um, this needs to be minimized. Start solver. And we'll find the, um, the minimum point and uh, we can see the Y is correctly oriented and it's found it at 34. Um, and again, if we had minus 55, um, that would again reorient the plane. So it's always um, gripping the object correctly. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, that was just a small tweak uh, to get it um, finalized. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below and uh, I'll be making more tutorials in the near future. So just subscribe and uh, activate the notifications if you want to be informed of when I release new videos. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.